Welcome everyone on this 24th of May to part four of Campaign Spring Breakdown. I am Wilbur and along with me is going to be Killer Man. What's going on, Killer? Oh, you know, surviving and not hopefully crashing after the uh, first session of the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for the same thing. B-19, please. So we've had a development uh with the campaign and some things have changed overnight and what you're seeing here is a little bit of a difference in usual what the op map would look like but at 2300 hours radar spotted a concentration of russian cargo transport planes headed for yehovorka and at 2400 hours the planes flew over the ao of the u.s two were shot down by aa guns and then at 0, 1500 hours the garrison at West Mogi reported that it was under attack. Shortly thereafter, garrisons at Bolivia, the bridge, and Sokolov overpass made similar reports. The Sokolov garrison went radio silent. Fortunately, most of the attacks were repulsed. However, it appears that Russian paratroopers have occupied both West Mogilyuva and Sokolov. So we're going to be following the Russians tonight, and they are going to be setting up defenses at both of these towns. And they've also been able to acquire some of those U.S. assets from those points that they took. And I believe they have actually stolen a Bradley and a Toe Matt V. Yeah. So, yeah, they've stolen a Toe and a, a Toe Matt V and a Bradley from the U.S. That is not good for the U.S. going into the rest of uh, this operation. And let me actually post the doc for you all so that you can follow along what we're talking about. I guess I could technically take care of that. Um, ah, it's done. We're going on it. And uh, we're gonna probably going to... We already got players in. Uh, sounds like Command is going over the brief with his platoon leaders right now. But so talking about Commands... Uh, since we're going to be following the Russians, command is going to be Ethel, and then rounding out all of the squad leads is going to be Lawn Dart, Silent, Psycho, Cyclone, and Oddball. What about on that U.S. side? For the U.S. side, command is going to be Dwarf. Oh, the old powerful Dwarf. And his 4SL is going to be Clay J, Wolfgang, CG Fu, and Phoenix. Okay. And a um, little brief recap with uh, the vehicle list so far. I guess we can take another Bradley off of this, but uh, we'll start out on the Russian side. So the Russians have five tanks left with one that got destroyed, and then they have uh, four BMP-2Ms, seven BMP-2s, eight BTR-82As, and six MTLB-6MBs. Uh, they have 25 BTR-80s left, 15 MTLBs, M, 10 scout cars, and four uh, spandrels. They have 20 transportation trucks left and 22 logistics and still no helicopters to be reported. What about, and then over on the US side, they got six tanks left. They have 14 uh, Bradleys with two being destroyed. So I think that's actually gonna be 13 Bradleys with two destroyed and one stolen. And then they have 23 strikers, 20, 12 strikers with the Mark 19s, 20 transportation trucks, 22 logistics trucks. They have 30 Mat Vs with the 50 cal, uh, 15 of the Mat Vs with the crows, and I guess it's going to be six Mat Vs with the tow, with one being abandoned or maybe one being stolen. We don't know for sure, and then they still have all of their helicopters. All right, and we're live with round one of part four of Brother, campaign spring breakdown or breakthrough, breakthrough breakdown <laughs> jesus Ooh, neither Wait. one of us are doing good with English. no not my strong suit is that mine am i bradley uh i would use that that uh argument too but i only know one language and i don't know it very well i only speak one language american <laughs> 
I didn't put it down. I didn't even fucking. Oh, uh, am I the only one who had someone uh had a teacher in I think it was like high okay. school or middle school ask what language do y'all speak and so you'd always have that one person go American. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, looks like, like the Russians are breaking out northeast. Good job mine, sir. Uh, I'm starting to see some of the U.S. vehicles pushing down that southern part. Do they have a uh, a route that they're going to plan on taking? Um, I think they're planning on taking. So they're going to. There's. They, wow. Come on, Lords. Um, Work with me. Where do you want my Pushing exactly? west, and they're going to move um, up the main thoroughfare you know towards the uh, airfield. Yeah, I and reverse. if I was following the markers yeah, yeah, correctly, reverse, uh, they will be uh, taking it all the way to the northern end of the airfield and then turning uh, sharp west and, and headed towards uh, uh, the U.S. The defensive strategic zone. Ah, okay. I see that there. I do need shoulders on me, though. Yeah, live is definitely going to be late with these campaigns. There's a lot of information. Well, this campaign, there's a lot of information to get out, a lot of I'm moving sorry, parts I'm to get ready. To figure out where he wants us. Oh, um, yeah. So just bear with me. Yep. Wrong comes. So it's going to take a little, a lot Reminder, more briefing to go on. We don't have FTL, so I keep forgetting the there's so many the trenches Please around the airfield. Squads. Actually, I can't even call these trenches. I think we had an argument about this yeah, right, uh, a while back. Uh, right, a couple people the were talking about how the trenches were too shallow. Yeah, they are real shallow. I mean, they're we're gonna start semi. Moving. We'll, we'll just call them trenches game. because, I mean, that's yeah, yeah, really what they are. They're just not the fighting side, position trenches. They aren't foxhole trenches. Yeah, true trenches. Got the two Matt V's up here. They must have held down on a gas pedal and didn't wait for all the other vehicles to stay no, with them. No, they did not. We've got active eyes with the MRAP to the northeast. Yeah, it'll take a while for those uh, Bradleys in the uh, main battle tank to catch up. Yeah, those things just chug along in first gear, it seems like. Which, actually, no, I think the Matt Mies did a pretty good thing. They're the light vehicles scouting. That, that kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah. That, that, now that you pointed it out that way, that's how you should do it. Well, I don't know. You shouldn't agree with me too often. Because, uh, once again, I've never been in the military, so I don't really know how it works. That's usually what you do. You send out your scout vehicles first, and then you bring in your heavy, heavy armor. All right. You learn something new each day. Or you use common sense. Proper sense. If yeah, it was common, cool. everyone would have it. Yeah, I gotta stop using that because what you think is common isn't common anymore. This Matt V's at uh, airfield. Ah, uh, no, I doubt they're gonna get spotted, but they might spot some of these Russians out here to the northeast. And I see that the heavy, some of the heavy armor looks like the tank and probably one of, uh, I think that's the um, striker down south. And then the Bradley's going to be moving north. Yeah, looks like it. So, yeah, can you keep a chart team? Our team is very sound. Uh, Cyclone, but send one to me so we can finish those superior investigations. Did I hear a shell go off at point? See, and this is when I need that pen and paper. I could have just been taking notes. But my uh, horrible note-taking skills thing. and the it's fact like that I am mine. very lazy would probably stop me from doing yeah, so it halfway through. Okay. Looks like the Abrams is going to try to take up an observation so post. Right now we're just see if they can see anybody moving around well they've got the best outfit for it with the crow's nest and the uh commander's scope yep so you can just poke up a little bit you don't even have to put the whole turret out my squad's up yeah they are the best not to mention they're the most armored so they don't have to worry about getting hit by anything other than the uh the uh toe for the map either that i think the russian forces have correct along with another tank Correct. Uh, they're actually moving their Bradley and their tank. Is, is this one of the 
no, this isn't a tank. That's the BDRM. They're down south along with, or I should say south. They're out into the northwest I've got these in the center of, of the, the point line. with the Matt V. Toe, Bradley, the and the BDRM. The I don't know where they stuck the tank. Or did they yeah, just I'm leave it back at, at Maine? Not seeing it on the map anywhere. Unless they got out of it. If I don't die, I'm going to have an elevation soon. I should be able to see where they're coming from. Maybe they saved it. Maybe they're like, you know that what? Would, we're just going to save yeah, that would one be of... a very good save. Yeah. We're just going to save one of your tanks. Wait. No, that's, that's a Bradley. That's not the tank. Yeah, I don't know where they... I guess they are. They may have saved it. Have the Russian forces seen that uh, U.S. line down there on the uh, south? There has been no contacts called out, but the Russian forces do have, running along the map border on the west side, a squad probably going to wrap around them. But anyone who attacks from the south has got basically multiple uh, minefields to walk through. So that U.S. force that's pushing from the southeast right now might have an issue when it come, if they push through this open field. I don't know if they're going to attempt that open field. It would make more sense if... Well, I'm looking at the minefield that they have set up. So the point is cyclone. Yeah, they're gonna well, have their. Northwest they're gonna have a lot to cut through. Room, but nothing in the not as much south. as compared to Gosh, session one, to round two, jolly, yesterday. Uh, that was. All of our HMG bunkers that are was bugs. a cluster. They're all scoped. That was yep, a cluster I like, that we've been I couldn't bugs. even find the mines on. There were just so yeah, many, and they hid them so well. Yeah. Yeah, hiding mines is easy, especially the land mines. It's so easy in this, especially if you put it anywhere near the grass or near a tree or a shrub. They just hide in it. They look well, like see, a the stick. issue here is, the issue here is, and I see more issues, is that um, they hid them way too. You know how you're supposed to, like, tank mines? You're supposed to at least make them visible. I've got a mine over here, um, an AP mine, that is hidden inside of one of the rocks. Uh-oh. One of the little, the little outcropping rocks oh, on the ground right here. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I don't think that they're supposed to be doing that. No, no, they're not. Now, this one's legal. It's next to the rock, but it's not into it. Ah, oh, there we go. Now y'all can see what the mine actually looks like. Just says bomb. That is actually a really good asset. I it's take it hard it's very see. accurate. Uh, some of them are. Not some all of them, them look like that. Yeah. Have we seen him at all? And they're starting to yeah, ask, no, has anyone so seen Go anybody? Go ahead. Swap, sorry. Uh, tow am rep and infantry, Foxtrot 13 at 9. I don't believe the U.S. side has spotted anyone at Fox all yet. Yeah, Blackbeard, good, or I'm sorry, Lawn Darts just called out button. this northern squad too. Feel free to, uh, it's your and the M rep. If you think you can do something about it. They're, they're on the move, heading uh, in your general direction. It happens, Riser. Someone's gonna get an earful later on, though. Yeah, same stand. It's quite easy. We're trying to get eyes. And it's not gonna be from us. Basically, you know how effective a GL is. I think that was Pony who brought that up last time. Yeah, I think it was. Ah, oh, there's Lawn Darts. Thought he was over there with a Scottish chap. Bartok. Pretty sure he's got eyes on that 
at V with the toe. So Cyclone, do you have a, a body team in the cops Ooh. on the north of us? Yes, I do. So I have a fire well, team standing down boom, from the Delta Plus or to the little island. Yeah. And then I also <laughs> have a fire team right here on this trench line. Or this berm, rather. Yep, perfect, that works. Uh, I just wanted some breaking in OS, basically. And can I get a um, grid on your western vehicle? The bad thing for the Russians right now is the br their Bradley that they stole is facing the wrong direction. Definitely needs to go onto the southeast side. Maybe have some type of chance to damage this tank. Perfect. Check out what Squad Great. Two is doing out here on the southwest. So yes, Ronan, this is uh, currently round one, and I really got to change the front on my thing. Lama. Ah, sorry if I butchered that. Without them spotting you, grab it. So this is a campaign, um, well not really a campaign, it's, okay, it is a campaign. Wilbur saved me here. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is different than what we normally run uh, in the ops, usually on Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's a campaign, so it, everything that happens in one round carries over to the next round, next sec, into the next day. Yep. And on for him. We're doing it. We did it for four days now. We got one more tomorrow. Um, but if you're interested in playing on this, go over to the website squadops.gg and make yourself an account and link it with our Discord, discord.gg slash squadops. And keep an eye on the calendar on the website for a SOT basic. Once you take that SOT basic, you'll be able to get into all these operations, campaigns, and Mars events. Um, regards the southern approach, and I can see up to like quarry. I can see pretty far. Uh, the tank was stolen last night in the middle of the night. Copy the notes. Russians dropped in behind the U.S. lines, yeah, stole some moving. assets, stole back some two, two POIs. Uh, pull up the op map real quick so you see what we're looking at. So you see those red marks? That's where the Russians broke Copy through. Notes. They stole West Moog and Soklava. And uh, stole some assets also. Yeah, let's see if we can draw them in further. However, on the if you if you if you see the opportunity to deal a whole lot of damage, you're free to take it. Great. And I think we've got a call right, out right. on possibly North seeing on uh, this map. Russian force up here to the north. Squad Three one has for the Russian. The point. Yeah, they're just they're calling out Squad two also for the U.S. to the northeast. I haven't seen anybody in the southeast on top of the hill or the west. Yeah, He's just sitting there. And they called out the Bradley. That was silent. Two Squad two back here on that far hill. I need to go ahead. Why does that not surprise me? Well, he's got a really good vantage point from where he is. Uh, he's up on a hill far uh, it southwest. Is a, it is a static MRAP with infantry moving east. So yes, if you can put it in the Bradley, east to west. I think it's just sitting on top of the hill. East to west, copy. No, it didn't change. No, position. the that tank is it. the it... tank is sitting up on top of the hill. If Silent had a tow, I think he probably could have taken Incoming. got a hit on this tank. That is, man, that doesn't make any sense. Blackbeard's in there. What is he doing? I have no clue, but they definitely saw the Bradley enemy. too. He's still there. If the Russian forces had a tow, yeah, there. that tank would be He's toast right now. Though, so. just moved oh, actually, wait, the uh, Russians do have a tow. Uh, what am I talking the, about? Uh, yeah, they got an ATGM He's a uh, He's individual. Oh, I hear something coming in. Oh, that's, that's a miracle he moved just then. Oh, it was called in over there. Bert. Oh. It's not Bert. Oh, it's wow, a... that yep. was some good damage. Did he get the vehicle? I, the yes, it might work. I don't think so. Uh, but it got see a couple beware. down. Uh, and the vehicle looks like it might medic. be injured. Yeah, uh, it just missed. That was a good call for Ethel. 
Leave it to the master strategist. Command, we're taking our MK19 grenade fire from the south. Fire from the south, copy well. We got no more calling over here. Good to go down. This other Bradley's just stuck on this hill. I don't think Silent knows that that vehicle on top of the hill is actually a tank. Okay, so from now on, yellow lords, don't try to run in. If you have a kill, take it. They know you're here. Right. I mean, that's really gutsy just to be sitting on top of that hill with your main asset. Yeah. Knowing that the other team has ATGMs. I'm going to repeat on where friendly Bradley I'm going to see if I can hear anything, if they're even saying anything in local friendly Bradley I think they're is, uh, chattering in squad. The north of the woods, correct? Okay, yeah. copy. Um, Wait. So the book I'm looking at is actually not the Bradley, it's the Abrams. They have an Abrams as well. There we go. Silent calls it out. It's the okay. Abrams. <laughs> it is still at Hotel 1551, just on top of the hill. It hasn't moved the last five minutes. Copy. Confirm that's at Abrams, Hotel 1551. I'm pretty yes. sure the I wish we had a strike Abrams now. is aware that Dashby's group yeah. is over well, here. Well, call and uh, he could just got the In some capacity. That's fine. Are you talking about down to the southwest? We're gonna we're gonna have to wait. Yeah. Come in and then where oh, Silent I mean, is because yeah. they, okay. they've, be they've got yeah they've got their turret oh, turns yeah, towards place. it. You're perfectly placed for that silence. I'm not sure if they've spotted anything though. The yeah, I mean. It, it's got a good zoom on it, so they should be able to see something. We've got a BRDM2 in that dead facing east, and they haven't seen anything current. Uh, Grid, oh, just so I know. US is opening up on this northern force. Delta 11. Down B5 goes Casings. My friendly BRDM, facing east. Perfect. That's perfect. Bartok, rather Scottish chap, and. Tinkerbell. Pulling back. I heard shots, or was that uh... Got about 40 minutes left in the can in round one. I keep forgetting about that timer. I almost forgot about it, and then someone said something it's about a live time, time, and I was like, oh, I gotta hit my button. Uh, one second, taking fire from the breath. Copy. Right, command, I'm my, gonna uh, put a timer down. I'm just gonna go and find a little uh, magnet Boston kitchen uh, timer. Time, so just stick it on my desk. <laughs> We're gonna reposition and try and ambush them again uh, in the Delta. I almost Echo used the the timer from my grill because it's detachable. Yes, <laughs> but it doesn't count down. It only counts up, and I wasn't trying to uh, do math and talk at the same time. Wait, what's the point of of a uh, timer if it doesn't count down? Uh, it lets me know when to flip, basically. Ah, uh, okay. Like, if I'm cooking, like, a steak, I usually cook my steaks for, like, 10 minutes, so counting up actually works, because then I know when to, you know, switch its side, so I get that nice cross hatch on each side. Mmm. It's an art form. Ooh, Bradley's putting in some damage towards Tinkerbell. Definitely don't think Bartok's going to get anywhere near that Bradley right now to be able to put a round out on him. He so does. It looks like U.S. forces have called out for possible heavy Russian uh, assets B-17. So they do know something's down there, but I don't think that call out's going to be quite accurate. Yeah, they missed they missed the vehicles by a little bit. What's my am I allowed to go through quarry to go after the Abrams? Stamp. As per what Pony said earlier, you're allowed. I think you're allowed to get closer to it per you as usual, but I don't think you're able to get on it. Yep. Break. Gonna... Got a lot of those. Uh... Red Bear One Two. This is Company Command. You are hereby authorized to enter the quarry area to oh, engage geez. enemy Where are the map vehicle? Vs with the uh, 
Arc 19. Copy, opening commands. Yeah, so there we move, go. If you think it's the wise Opening up on Tinkerbell so squad. It is kind of tricky. He is sitting on a hill, and I don't what's know left if there's a trees on that hill because of the render distance. Um, I Copy. might be able to get close enough to place the ATGM, but it's not going to one shot him, and by the time I hit him once, he's going to roll back. So at this time, I'm probably just going to wait, try and bring him in more, and then we'll try and get closer. Copy, Silent. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, Oh, I see how they spotted Silent. Uh, not an NSA spy and Nuclear Potato are up on top of the quarry building. By knocking straight towards them. Yeah, you can get up there. There is a way of climbing up everything to get on top of it. I thought they were keeping an eye at the lower portion. I didn't even look at them. No, they're on top of it. Looking straight at them. So, MRAP, Bradley, Ambrons. Oh, yeah, that can get straight to the map order. I believe... One MRAP, or it could just be one Bradley, one MRAP toes, one Abrams. Wait, isn't the tank two, higher than that, though? Yeah, it, it is. is. Okay, so for now, we'll uh, just assume three vehicles. You know, you got more more eyes, it's better. Yeah, I guess that's true. It may have, you know, from the Bradley, uh, or from the tank, team they probably the road, just saw them and maybe off, putting those people up on top of the quarry building gave them a better lookout. Maybe give him a head count. Down to twelve six four. Maybe call out when a toe's flying towards him. <laughs> I don't think there's yeah, going to be enough side chance side from the building there. to them to get out, dodge it. Long, you be very careful. Well, if you've got yeah, a you great sight line, line, you might be able Abrams to yell out toe, toe, and, and they can just start moving. From there yeah. To you guys yeah, that's true. You guys it does take a bit for those toes to reach their target. They aren't instantaneous. Yep, they know how to uh, get this campaign was actually drafted up, I think, mainly by Pony and a, and a couple others. A this wasn't uh, one of X bits. Well, do we want to do that now? Right we now, we don't, want to engage at this, we don't want to engage at this distant state that's playing their game. Let's throw them in. Looks like the U.S. Well, forces are going to start pushing be towards the here. west. A little east of here. Yeah. And we're looking at, what, like 20... 20 sessions worth of this campaign. Yeah, there's a lot. what we've already gone through. There is a lot. This can go on for a while. Yeah, Bradley is yeah. following. So this isn't going to end Lambo anytime soon. You, we might be covering more sessions of this later in the year at the rate things are going. It depends on how right. fast or how long it takes them to take points. And the BDRM might be taking out anyone moving down this gully. They get too close to it. Oh, oh BDR, I'm starting to move up. up. Yeah, he's starting to move up. Yeah, I'm be that is they better not hide. Good. Yeah, they're low on Mogli and just. They're starting to Actually, lay back down. Do any of these guys have. Uh, they got a hat all the way in the so back, a lat up on the. On the or south side. Yep, Salty Potatoes got his lad out. Roger, when we got that BRDM facing down that creek bed eastward, they should be able to see and engage. Everyone has stopped moving. I think well, the B maybe the BDRM and the Matt V are going to have a war. Due to the northeast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Matt V should have an eye on them from here. Oh, oh yeah, the RMs open up. The only silver crossing in the open. The only issue with that Mark 19 is you got to turn the turret way up to get any shots at distance. I think it's oh, as far as distance is 600 no. meters. The Matt V's, the Matt V and the uh, scout car can't see uh, each other. There's a bush in their way. West of the that ah. bush that you're hovering over is blocking complete view. <laughs> oh man, that's a negative. None on three smart. Okay, I am seeing. I saw one infantry guy. Got a kill, pull back. West or southwest smart point. move. My guess would be. Right oh, now the map B can see it. Just right there, throw a 13 1. Yep, perfect. Ah, oh, but it's, yeah, it's gone. the Yeah, the we do have BDRM's west, pulling southwest back southwest. and I'm out. Trying to get him to chase him. It looks like they might have gone around us on the north. Or between me and you guys. Copy, silence. 
Dude, that's I've only got about 34 right more minutes. Ranch, really? Two, oh, is that Mark 19 or currently engaging your, your troop segment? Going forward and right. I just Negative, know, I just get on a range here. Copy. Yeah, that's a I big thing, Exoskelly, yeah, that the uh, commands got to get over is that they don't have all the time in the world to make their uh, plans. All right, they They've only got 60 minutes. The, the moment live goes out, that Glove. timer starts. And if they haven't completed their objective or held their objective for that 60 the minutes, then they the are... Well, Friendly lose. In the tree that's coming out. pretty much the simplest yep. way I can say it. We're getting eyes probably the simplest way anyone can say it. <laughs> Make sure you are breaking your NOS to your direct east elbow. That tank has some good eye. Yeah, that's just... Yeah, it's another thing you also gotta balance there. Roger's right. Uh, vehicle loss so is permanent, so... Infantry out to the south. I can give you a guess. You gotta be, you gotta be somewhat conservative. Just a Bradley bit. and infantry is. But you can't be too conservative Bravo that you 14, choke yourself. Four eight ish. Correct. Maybe Bravo thirteen four three, somewhere around Understood. there. Understood. Looks like the, the scout vehicle is gonna move back up the now. trench line again. Well, I guess not trench. This is a creek, isn't it? Yeah, creek bed trench. A gully. It's not Able flat. Still just sitting on the the the, the mountain. Um, I think I'm gonna move in on that that Bradley. That, something's got a mark on the location. I don't know if it's the Bradley firing in on it. It's got to be the Bradley. There's no way it, the Mark 19's hitting that. Or maybe it is. That is the MRAP with the Mark 19. Yeah, it's, it's got to be the Mark 19. Those rounds that keep popping off every now and then, they are okay. being shot from one oh, of the uh, Mark 19s engage. over here. Ah, okay. I hear them go off. I just don't know where they're going. Yeah, they're hitting the, the corner right where the radio is. And we have a color-changing building. Oh, you've got my bug. It goes from red to wood. Red brick. Yeah. Wood. <laughs> red brick. Wood. Careful there, Wilbur. You're showing bugs. Assume, are we shoot on uh oh. Uh, yeah, if they get close, yeah. But yeah, that, uh, that is interesting. You know, I... supports and you can keep hitting for a bit. Just hang tight. Red brick. Oh, tank's Wood. starting to fire in on it Check also. Today, we could potentially Ooh, if he aimed, he aimed a bit lower, can, can you actually blow up the AP mines? Uh, I don't know that would be uh pretty interesting though oh we just lost or the DDRM. i just lost the yep enemy uh, vrdm i don't know who got it bitch, though has been taken out staring three. at the uh brick wood house i will not lie repeat up i'll copy BRDM in the north. But if I had to take out, a guess, it was probably Salty Potato who got it. Thank you. Well, I'm looking at the Mark 19 firing in, and I don't see any of the mines disappearing, so I don't know if they got a fire directly on it or what. But I don't see any of them blowing up. Well, I also haven't checked what is the blast radius of the Mark 19 shots. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is either. Are they it's, like a I, mortar radius no, or it, tinier? If they stay true to form, it's going to be just like out of the GL because the Mark 19 fires the exact same 40 mic mic round that the GL shoots. M203. Yeah, just in a belt. Belt fed, yeah. It's a belt fed grenade launcher. Two, could you give me an update? Much, yep. Not I'm pretty in, much, yeah. I'm in exactly a little valley right now, so I can't see anything. He has crept a little more east. Might Those be aren't bad DNA. shots. The issue is they're... There, there's the main battle tank shooting yep. again. It's The sound it's design in this really game really is so really awesome. Like, shooting. the tank is so far away that the you Abrams hear the explosion the of the round out. and then the shot from the main battle tank this it's far away. Yeah. Squad 1 for command. 
Go ahead, come in. Rex, Groovy, that is a lot of, of mines. Echo 13, eight, whether or not they actually get uh, set the off is bit of in the field, a whole other thing. It depends where the U.S. decides to come in. Yep, to be a fire team. It looks like they set up Are whether to set up to uh, counter them coming from the south, so but majority of the U.S. is coming from the Repeat, engage on here. I'm east. I'm my way up to this Bradley over here. Echo thirteen eight seven, approximately in the fields east of the. Break, let's see company. Uh, the bad part, wow, bad right, part for the uh, U.S. The forces is the they still have, have a platoon enemy of Abrams Russians right above them to the north. Requesting that you drop a six-round, 120-millimeter artillery barrage Not a lot, on the fire support request march, mark to your southeast. Over. Six-round, 120-meter barrage. Thank you. And sounds like Russian companies just he given command... Far. And we can't see that. That if you want to mark rubber. <laughs> they might be putting marked. some. They're putting rounds marked. down yeah, right on top of the tank. They're going to be putting a six-round barrage well, right on the tank. Over there, so in case he doesn't go down, I'm actually kind of close to it. Hmm. Um, medieval. So that's a negative. Him. So things like that oh, don't no, aren't persistent through each point. round. Yeah, that's when we've got eyes down that way. So yeah, the, the tank might be getting hit with a mortar barrage. Here it is. Ooh. And it's right on top of it, and it's going to start moving out now. I think it did a little bit of damage, and it pulls out just in time. Oh. Ran into a tree. Yep. That's probably the best thing for him, because if they go too far down that hill, I don't know if they can get out of that quarry. They can. It's got a it's, it's got a small path leading up out oh, of it. Yep, I see it now. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to go down in there if the Russian forces were close by. That'd be a death pit for any vehicle. And the, the way that the tank moves, it might take them an hour just to get out. <laughs> yeah. Did they get the tank stuck? Oh no! No. Let me get in here and see. Uh, yeah, I think the tank, if, nope, yeah, it's, nope, it's stuck. Oh, no. There they go. Now that, now it's coming out. If they keep going down, they can take that path that we were talking about earlier. Maybe. Blackbeard hopping out and seeing if he can direct them out. I don't think they can. Yeah, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to back down the hill and go out another way. I see Squad Three for the U.S. getting a little bit closer to these Russian forces' defense. Got the Bradley moving up as well. Mark 19's throwing out some more rounds. I don't know what is shooting all the way in the back over here. I'm not sure either. I'm I'm still looking at Blackbeard trying to guide his tank out of the pit. Cyclone, commands one in you. Are you there? And Six we've got eight. All right, that's unfortunate. event Pace admin yep. stepping in to three. guide in them the towards the, the winding the path east. in the pit. As well as in the fields, the brown fields you can see to the east of three. I presume three is in contact at this current time. Presume, okay. Yep. Cypher, do you hear me? I am back. Untimely phone call. Yep, very untimely. You have contact to your northeast. Heard contact to my northeast. I'm getting my Bravo team oriented. Yeah, do you have a Bravo? Do you have a fire team on you, basically? All right, looks like they have okay, gotten the tank into the pit point. and ready to go out. I think one's the Lucky uh, Mark 19, and one's a Bradley. Break, break. We I really want to drive it hammer out. And the Bradley. Not sure why. Charlie twelve four and Bravo twelve six. Make sure that you're not calling them. Understood. It's like the Mark nineteen hit some people up here on the north over here with lawn darts. 
Oh yeah. Oh no, this is just Tinkerbell from earlier. Getting wounded. This still doesn't look good for the U.S. side yeah, over here on the uh, north. It's you just. Do you have eyes on them silent from the south? Side? And they got the Mark 19 just unloading, trying to hit anything that they got <laughs> over there. I think he's aiming way too far out right, there, though. Bravo 13. Yeah, he's firing over top of their heads. The so, actually, he's hitting the intersections. Near the road, so it's really close to law. Seeing smoke out on the road. Squad one for That's a glitch. I think right that's on. a glitch. What? Where? An element yep, it's a glitch. Eight, it's just sitting there. A pretty heavy Mark 19 fire. Uh, Somewhere. From yeah, no, they. I, I saw the uh, shots land right in front of Fulcrum. Oh. Yeah, all of these should be your preoccupation aside, and if you can try to get eyes on them from the south side. Yeah, I see there's, there's vehicles near lawn, an MRAP, and two Bradleys. Too far to engage, right? Echo 12, 5, 4 ish. Echo Foxtrot 12. Yes. Like, it, Command on the US side is wondering why they're so close, but Assuming they're not shooting. So out, to they're on the, the they're on the back side of the point. So means is he will All of Russia the is towards yeah, was, the northwest of the point. Right they're not actually on able the point. Direct southwest, southeast of Sokolov. I see the And we got to keep remembering this isn't technically a defensive for the Russians. They, if they did get this, they would win the points, wouldn't they? If yeah, they, they would, re they would regain. Fine, uh, yeah. But I don't think they're going for that. I think they're gonna, gonna try, try and save as much vehicles that they Please gain from this as they can for the next. How much more? How much more time we got left? About good 22 minutes. The, um, the next 22 minutes, they're south gonna south try and save road. it. Engage Hopefully they don't move this Matt V any closer to this mine that's here on this intersection east of the point. They're going to crest a height, and there's going to be ATS that's on the other side of that height. Oh, they're, they're oh, most kill counts. Uh, We're actually pretty light right on now. kills for each team. Man, U.S. So sitting at three with the Russian sitting at two. Mark 9 a MRAP, Echo 11 one, one, with a squad. And we've got a spot for infantry. Delta 12, so they're on. looking at Revy and Chicken here. Uh, hold one command taking heavy fire from this side. Copy. Oh no. Mayamoto. Bond Darts is getting... Yeah, I'd rather you try to some of his fire teams uh, got taken can. down. It looks like he lost Tinkerbell side. and Bartok. But it's left Ooh. to a rather Scottish chap and himself. I wish I could be here in the yeah, conversation that Scotch is letting out right now. I guarantee he's not quiet. We've been spotted. Hey, he's not doing it in local. <laughs> on the road, Delta 14, 3. There's an infantry spot, uh, screening him at an SL glass. We're moving off. Alright, command for Go ahead. I've lost three, uh, three assets. There's two of these uh, Mark 19s, I believe. It's in like two firing at us from my southwest. Northwest of the point, Delta 1133. They got Fulcrum and Liberal Pundit to the west of the force, the uh, Copy, U.S. forces the, uh, north of the point. Three is taking contact from the east end of the forest, Delta 1291. Yeah, smoke's coming in they on the point. Smoke. I believe they've made it in close on our east side across the road. And it's probably going to be the... Yep, stop it. Yeah, we got stop the tank pushing right, in uh, on the road towards right the uh, west. On the northeast of the U.S. forces walking right on one of the yeah, lines for the... Mines real soon Abrams if they enter the, the, the uh, compound. So he will be coming from the south, southeast. I think the only person on the U.S. side that might have an issue is Clay J yeah, is no literally standing right in now. front of some mines. Where is the mine that's over here, though? Oh, there it is. Oh, it didn't glitch underneath. No, it's it's up here on the the uh, edge Silent. of the, uh, the hill, be firing, and it's a legal placement too. It's not hidden. We don't have a shot. We're gonna have one soon. We're trying to get off this mountain. There's infantry across the other side. I don't know. So if maybe see should, he should be safe as long as he doesn't push up the other one. The yeah, U.S. are starting to move into the compound, slowly clearing it out. Oh. 
There's one Ooh, mine. Oh, and the tank is ta firing shots at their own people. No, Almost. no, I don't think that was a tank. Oh, no. That's that a... was the tank. That first one, oh. though, that was a mine. Oh. Forgot. Yeah, there are mines inside the compound. Yeah, they are now seeing them. And I think Raided just took a shot this at the... Three, we got contacts northeast I don't know if he took a Delta shot at the 11th. tank or he Delta completely missed the Bradley. Break, break. He's reloading. One, three, they're all on the fence. On the objective. Yeah, I think he missed the Bradley Delta shot. One, He's got a Bradley on the to his left that he doesn't even see. If you can... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna... When the U.S. force is trying to get off the point as fast as they can, they've realized there are mines oh, everywhere. Oh, raided! Oh, no. Tank down. Enemy tank down. And they lost the tank. U.S. lost CG the tank. CGFU's got a messed up arms on my side. Command 1 MK19 down. Working on the other. Bondars just called out they took down one of the Mark 19 uh, MRAPs. Enemy Bradley is on the south of the point on the road. Did they? He's I am not doing good at keeping track of things. Unless this is it right here. Uh, no, I it's don't see smoke still up. Right. Oh, no, that's, oh, no, it's still up. He didn't take it down. Where's the other one at? There should be two of them. The other one's up at the point, sitting right outside the east side. Yeah, no, I don't know. They still haven't seen the striker either. You know what? They might be calling it because it's got no one left okay, in it. In. It's, no. it's a free sit. Ah. We don't need to storm it back yet. Um, you can get there was something was destroyed out here in the field to the uh, southwest. I'm not sure. That was, was the that tank. The U.S. tank? No, that's, oh, yeah, the U.S. tank. Ooh, Bradley takes a hit. Engine kill. You can get them more and when the U.S. Like, the reaffirming the that if they hold the compound, they hold right. the obje objective and they win. So they just got to take the compound and they're good. I think in order to take the compound, they got to dig down the radio. I think. Yeah, and the hard part here is they got to get to that house, one, that, that wood brick house that we were talking about, which is... Sure just are surrounded so by AP count. mines on the inside. Yeah, hopefully Russia doesn't run in, uh, rush in and hit their own I see the brand mines. I don't think they will, but Copy. I'm looking at the way this is set up. This, there's only one way for the Russians to actually get back into the compound. This little crevice walkway here between the uh, wood brick house and the garage. There's a little back entrance. I see what they're doing. They're keeping the U.S. forces. They're forcing them to go through the compound, through yes, the AP mines. to the east is enemy. Our, our, we Command. have a single friendly Bradley up to our west. Kind of like strike, a... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bradley down, Bradley down. Oh, no. Nightmare just killed the friendly oh, Bradley. They're in the compound. <gasps> no. For the Russians. No. Whoops. Oh, and then the other Bradley Eiffel. goes yeah. down. It you just got, got called out. Eiffel. Oh no. Eiffel, Astrox been called in. Can you call it in? Two. I and the US me. side just lost to Bradley. Yeah, I just told you. I like, yeah. did it on purpose, an accident. Like, it wasn't on purpose. There's just too much going on, and we can't see him on the map, so. They're on the point. Eyeball and Wayne right. Newton trying to fire off attack. with each other. Shoe is coming back around Wait. the corner. Oh, nope. Eyeball's going to take refuge. Bradley's coming around. Nothing. Money Man might be getting another shot. And I, yes, I, Money I, Man I, takes down the, the other Bradley. Incoming. Oh, you got it. Sweet. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be calling in a mortar mission on the point. Yeah. 
I gotta ask that question. Uh, Bamp, what do you mean by uh, issue with the FX change. CPUs for AMD? One squad. GRG, are you taking contact from your northeast? That's interesting. I did have an issue with uh, frame skipping with the Ryzen CPUs. Ooh, one Ooh, down kill. goes Wayne Newton. That's artillery. Those are just the warning shots. More coming in. Yeah, here they come. We might actually find out if the uh, Sorry, AP mines can be destroyed by um, artillery. <laughs> oh, I think right it did. Now, yeah, I think it did hit a couple. MRAP, Delta 12, 7, 6. That's Who's eight, moving three, two of his people three, out? Three, South one, side. One. They're going to try to push back around to where Oddball's location is. Tai Tai might have a, might end up with an eye on him. One, be advised. Yeah, Tai Tai is not sitting in a good position. If you oh, I mean, he is. Catches him. Oh no! Eyeball takes two, and Tai Tai takes the third. Or no, not Tai Tai. No, that was Young Savage. Yeah. Young Savage just laying out on that uh that belt. And Tai Tai is back to just covering the uh, point. And Dorf has lost complete count of I what's going on on the right field. On you. I have my other fire team watching our east flank. I'm gonna try to see if we can prove and uh, this might be the end of it for the U.S. side. Dorf, not sure if the radio is actually in the town or not. Well, uh, the radio is down. Radio, is it down? Yeah, the radio got taken out by the mortars. Ooh. That was one for me. I didn't hear. Yep. How does that roll? Is that? To catch him and where is I yeah, I couldn't even begin to explain. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the Russians called in a mortar strike and it got taken down. Yo, they were to a southwest base. Are we sure that was a radio? Are they following a cyclone? Because I'm looking at the radio. Oh no, that's the yeah, radio down there. Yeah, I'm sorry, in. those were just uh, those were just rallies up there. Yeah, that radio is all yeah. the way down here. We I'm looking at the wrong things. Yep. So Dorf actually is correct. It isn't in the town, or little house place, little compound. We'll call it a compound. Yeah. Little ville. Little village. Yeah. And Russians are going to start clearing out the compound now. They know that they have people in the small green building. This room's clear. It was their game. And down oh, goes Frenzy, so there's only one left. Fiasco. Or Fizco. I think it's Fizco. Yeah, Fizco. All right. Let's hold this. Ace, I'm on the green building. I made it in. Yeah, this is not a good push for the U.S. forces. They pushed into this compound expecting the uh, radio to be there. And turns out it's not even in there. It's literally sitting right there on the edge in open view. Yeah, well, if they still had a... Yesterday, uh, they had it sitting like right off the side of the bridge and everyone kept running past it. And then Dorf finally saw it in like the last couple of minutes. No. Oh. It was like a sound bug. You couldn't even like hear it. Yeah. I've been having that lately too. Is some people's uh, guns will be going off and they're not actually shooting. Yeah, I don't know if it was a sound bug just for me or them also. Yeah, we just lost section over here, taken out by. What? That was oddball. Time to, yeah, copy. Time to try to pick up a couple of them, and uh, they're gonna help you hold the uh, northeast. Fisco takes down Oddball. Three has infantry contacts east northeast. What did he hit him with? On this he shot him. Popped right out the corner and hit him, and then repositioned to another spot. Oh, you know the garage. what it was? I think one of the uh... one of that fucking Fisco bleeding. He's got a band aid. I think that's his last one. He's hurt uh, bad too. Oh, oh yeah. Let out. Didn't make it. Oh. Yeah.
Two to command. Also, I think there was some friendly fire there for the uh, Russian side. Looked like We're one of them tripped a uh, AP mine. Oh no. Bringing in from the west. We have a enemy enemy element chasing That's the us downside right now, of putting so. AP mines on the point you're supposed to be defending. Right now, uh, it's your freedom. You're gonna have to find a way to survive that. Watch out for the mines. The on U.S. forces, side. you're just gonna go yeah. no hold bar and just push it. Hopefully, they're up here on the north. I see Hedda. Uh, you got chicken looking straight at salty potato, and Sergeant Jackson. Um, since you have the hatch, you can also try to hunt down that vehicle. Oh no! How did he survive? What? Yes. How did he survive that shot? Did a bush just no. save him? I, I think that was an RPG oh, shot right on chicken, and it, like, det I don't know if it detonated on a tree or a bush next to him, but it didn't kill him. It just hurt, Ooh. wounded him. I don't know, there's been some weird things going on with explosions. Strange. Like AP mines. You know, in real life, someone would lose a leg if they stepped on one. Oh, or yes. Worse. Oh, it looks like yeah, the U.S. have pushed around. back into the compound. So, yeah, and they uh, decided to go armored doing it, too. Oh, shit. Push the Matt V uh, Mark 19 in there. Roger, guys. Command is down. Taking command here. Everyone still trying to hard point around the point. We got enough people. Not a point. good Don't choice for the U.S. Proper. because the radio is not point. in there. Three is holding. Yeah, young savage is looking around, is waiting, one. waiting to see a U.S. soldier pop up. He's got Dorf moving Three around next to him, with one person. and the Mark Dorf 19 trying to call that they hold proper. compound. Yeah, and the Mark 19's like right out the door. Hopefully, he doesn't yeah. just find Savage in there and just unload on him. Well, see, that's the funny part. Uh, Dorf just called saying they uh, held the compound, <laughs> and Mission Admin is like, "No, you don't." You don't hold compound. It's still got enemy forces on it. Oh, and Young, oh, Savage, young Savage. And, yeah, they traded. He traded with Dorf. All right, that leaves Flicker, Nuclear. No, not Nuclear. Uh, Uncle Niner and uh, NSA Spy alongside Hovis. <laughs> still on the point. Anyone I feel like up someone on has stuck comes. molasses in the gears of my Can mind right now. Two, what's your current pause? Yeah, I think Apparently the radio is a little silent strong. compared to their buddy rally. Raj, three strong holding oh, us. I'll try my best here we go. to watch your northeast. Stamen saying U.S. holds Sokolov. Got six minutes left for the Russians sure to retake it. All right. But we still have radio. Can they do it? I think they can. There's a lot more Russians than there are U.S. forces now. Make sure you guys Actually, no. I take that back. Is the U.S. Radio. forces radio have 26 kills and the Russians have 28. So, technically, the Russian forces have less. No. Less and an uphill battle. Yeah. Hopefully, li Liberal can make it up this hill without getting spotted. He's Remnants been spotted. Red Bear Platoon, this is Company Command. Go for Acting Commander. Acting Commander, Company. You need to secure Sokolov proper. The FOB itself is not important to our efforts in this region. Heard Red Bear taking Sokolov. All right, guys, reorient reorientating. We have to take Sokolov proper. We are going to take the right side right side of this we're gonna start all the way west and then we're gonna take the down uh slope so i'm an mg i can do my best setting up and just yeah sniping set up anyone in the trees moves. yeah set up in the trees oh you guys have more oh that's awesome flicker has taken over command from dorf just Ordering everyone around in the, the compound to take up positions in certain places. I didn't even see a rather Scottish chap out here all by his lonesome. What? 
Yeah, all the way up to the north, uh, northeast. Coming in behind the mat V. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, he's got no one to stop him. Four minutes. He's got to book it if he wants to make any difference. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he... Well, no, he can't know that he's the last one. And he has a hat. I don't know if he has any shots left. Yeah, that's something I wish we had. The ability to see the ammo load out on, uh, on individuals. Would be nice. Now it looks like they're gonna remove the Matt V from inside the compound. Might be going even, might be going towards that the front. Is not gonna be a good choice to sit there. And Scottish takes down one. Salty Toast just opening up with the Matt V Mark 19. Just peppering it. Oh, he's not even peppering. He's just gone full auto. Oh, when he gets one, he gets fluffs. Three minutes remaining. Scottish Chaps made it up to one corner. Headbust has made it up to the other. Salty Toast doesn't realize Dashby's crawling right up to him. Down goes Ooh. the Matt B. What took that shot? Uh, I don't know, but it was definitely might have been might have been Fulcrum. Nine is a spy with a pistol. Oh no! Out of ammo. Oh no! Headbuster takes him out. Brought up by Headbuster. Scottish chap's about to take out Hovis. And down goes Hovis. Oh, Wait, Hovis! Not realizing he was the last one. Uh, point is contested. I think this means Russia has retaken the uh, point again. Looks like the U.S. with th only three are going to have to push up and retake it within two minutes. Down goes Cyclone. We do have a rather Scottish chap in Dash B inside the compound. There it is. Russia has retaken it. I think for the third time? Got a lot of flip-flop. No, no, not the third time. That was... They had that, it. They lost it. the second it. time. And they, oh, yeah, and then they took it again. Okay, second time. The U.S. forces definitely have a hill to climb. Figuratively and literally. Yeah, with only three people left. Uh, coming in. Fulcrum. I don't know. They got, uh, they got Sergeant Jackson. He could do it. I got faith. And had a... Coming up the rear. Holy coming shit. in again. I just hit an AP mine. Careful. Gun out. Pistol out. Careful. There are AP mines everywhere. Salty potato digging down the radio down here. Did we retake the town? No, we took it back. Just got it for 15 seconds. Just hold copy, copy, copy. <laughs> You're just saying uh, hold the town. They only need, the need about 15 seconds. I'm thinking about 20 yeah. seconds left. And ponies flying over salty potato as he's digging down the radio, just going, yeah, radio is not objective, town is objective, radio is not objective. Uh, oh, no. They're, they're probably giving the uh, a last ditch chance or something. I don't see how Bluefer can do this. Oh, fucking God. Fight to the death. This is I'm for out. fun. Russians did win. Fight this win death. will be going to yeah, the Russians. To the so open. now it's just... Oh, yes. Hedda. Hedda with a takedown right at the beginning. 
Oh fuck, I'm eating poor soul. Sound a liberal. Dash B and a rather Scottish chap. Yeah, I'm about to pre-60 North. Versus Hedda, Salty Potato, and Sergeant Jackson. Sergeant Jackson moving in. He's in this building? Doesn't oh. realize Liberal Pundit is right in the house next to him. Down goes Salty Potato by Dash B. Sergeant Jackson making a straight beeline for Dash B. Head bust it, giving away his position to Hedda. Check. Pulling Sergeant Jackson back. Sergeant Jackson pulling into the house with Liberal. Oh no, Liberal. Down goes Liberal to Sergeant Jackson. Oh, Sergeant Hedda and Jackson. Oh, he just saw him. <laughs> yes, he did. Head bust it, doesn't realize it. He realizes it. Hedda's probably notified him. He doesn't see him, though. He just gave himself away. Hiding in a little bush. Oh, here comes Headbuster. Headbuster. Gonna come in behind Sergeant Jackson. Ah, uh, Sergeant Jackson heard him. Sergeant Jackson gets Headbuster. Down to Dash B. Where is Dash B? Oh, there's Dash B. Oh, and now goes Dashby. Man. Sergeant Jackson going, where's the challenge? <laughs> and there we go. We got GG, the first round of Campaign Spring Breakthrough Part 4. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to be getting ready with uh, round two. We're going to be getting the U.S. versus the Russians again. Russians again, the Russians. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they were successful in defending the point, which I'm actually surprised with the amount of armor that the U.S. actually brought brought out. I mean, two Bradleys and a tank, and didn't didn't help them. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy for the Russians. They def successfully defended their point. I believe now they have the initiative, so they're going to be able to pick where they go. And if they're going to attack or defend. And yeah, like I was saying, the lo U.S. lost a tank and two Bradleys. Uh, and the Russians only lost, what, the BDRM and the Bradley that they stole. So they still have a Matt V. Toe and the Bradley? The tank, right? Yeah, they didn't bring the tank out. So they still have that tank to use this round and follow-on rounds as long as they don't lose anything. Uh, here's the map real quick. Uh, overnight, the Russians airdropped into the behind enemy lines, so to speak, and took Sokolov in uh, West Moog. They defended Sokolov in the last round, so now they can push out from either Sokolov to the overpass or from, well, yeah, actually, I think they have a direct shot to USHQ now, too, with uh, having Sokolov as a win. And then they have West Moog, where they can push out from any other direction. What was your take for uh, round one? AP mines are still being misused. Yep. And the U.S. does not know how to use a tank. Yeah, they just had it sitting out on top of that hill the whole time. Um, and I guess they were just scanning the area, hoping to catch a Bradley or another tank out in the open, but it didn't work out like that for them. Yeah, I mean, they started using it halfway through the, the uh, map to pound the, the town, quote, town. I think it would be just better to just call it compound. Why do I keep calling it a town? Compound, uh, but that didn't do them much good later in. Uh, they just got blown up in the middle of a field. Yeah, they, they did. I think uh, that was from Silent and his squad out there all the way on that map border. Definitely played out in their favor. And then commands, uh, they're going to be staying the same. We got Dwarf, or I'm sorry, for the Russians, we got Aethel in command. And then we got Lawn Dart, Silent, and Cyclone, and Eyeball as SLs. What about the U.S.? 
Uh, for the U.S. side, we're looking at uh, Dorfus Command once more. Uh, with his four SLs being CG Fu, Phoenix, Wolfgang, and Clay J. Sweet. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if Russia, now that they had the initiative, if they're going to attack. I think they should. And I think they should attack. Hold on, let's bring the map back up and then. I've got a lot of conversation over here between the uh, commands. Uh, sounds like they might be defending. U.S. or Russia might be defending? U.S. Okay. So I'm wondering... I could be wrong. I wonder what they're going to attack. They could, looking at it, attack East Moog. Because I don't think that the U.S actually use anything in Sokolov Overpass, Bolova, the bridge, and Oh, so we just found out that they're going to be motorized, so I guess they're going to be attacking. So they'll be doing a motorized loadout. Uh, let me bring that up for offense. Russian motorized. So they'll be getting one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one hat, one medic, and then across the platoon, they'll be getting crewmen as needed. Two GLs, two medium machine gunners, two... Oh, what is that one? Oh, I gotta look it up. I don't even know. I gotta remember these assets. Good with the vehicles. That's it. When it comes to the kits, I'm still learning. Ah, motorized. Oh, a breacher. That's a breacher kit. The little explosion diamond. Um, and then they get up to two APCs, six. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the Russians. Yeah, two breachers still. So two APCs and up to four BDRMs. They'll get no fob or logistics. And then command gets three tactical support missions and three strategic support missions. So that does, I think that gives them the availability to use the tank. All right, and it sounds like the U.S. forces, if I'm not wrong, because I'm trying to listen to the command and I suck at differentiating uh, voices, uh, looks like combat engineers for defense. Oh, so it would be like a U.S. defensive... Well, that probably not, because they only get four of them on there. Let's go through the kits real quick. Let's find... That's two engineers for the U.S. headquarters... What about a mechanized? That, that's only one engineer. U.S. mortar, two engineers, or motor platoon. Maybe U.S. rear? Nope. It's not U.S. Yeah. rear either. Damn it. I wonder what it is. They got, they got me, they got me all messed up. Got my flow not going right. Okay, here we go. Little command brief. We stay north of the main road that you can see moving Who's in here? Is that Bertha here? It's Ronan. It's Ronan. And it's me. I don't know why okay. Ronan's. I mean, like, he shouldn't be in a vehicle. I hear Bartok for some reason. Is this some sound bug? This is insane. Okay. What? You're going crazy, dude. I hear Bartok on local. This is very weird. But, um. Anyway, so we're making sure that we stay north of that, uh, north or uh, east to southwest road. Silence will be. Silence will be. Um, silence will be your southern security. Followed by Cyclone and center left. Arbor being the rear of it with his vehicles. And Dondorts being the north and side elements. Sounds good? I'm gonna, just gonna mark just to be. This can be completely adjusted. This is how we move up, basically. Any adjustment you guys want to add to that? It can be shifted north or south, or... We will likely shift the MBT up onto the hills northwest and get eye line yeah. from Zalota due south uh, once the round has progressed. But we'll keep the BMPs to provide direct fire support for the infantry. Yep. I might Obviously... uh, keep you in reserve for quite a long time uh, on this okay. market here or something north of that until we have good eyes uh, on Mowgli. 
before you can move out. If that way, we... okay. we've still got time. Um, what about a drone? I don't know what that would take away from us. Would it take the tank away from us? Is it tactical? It's a it's support. Yeah, I know it's a support. Is it? I think it's tactical, isn't? It? No. It's a strategic right, support. Right. What's our strategic so supports we're taking? Yeah, strategic support. Uh, Whoa, I know what we rockets can get that one. Yes, rockets are off cooldown. Two tactical, two strategic. Yep. Uh, the MT one more tactical. Yeah. The MT. Yeah. yeah. You want the 120mm mortars, they're pretty good. You want the 120mm mortars, Sorry, yes. I need to respawn. I can hear all of these guys over there. That's a weird sound. That um, Whoa, if okay, that. SLs, do you think uh, a drone would be beneficial or not? It depends. It's so situational. I yeah. mean, it's, it's an opportunity cost between what you could otherwise uh, do, which is take out emplacements and troops with something heavier. Yeah, I am of or, the opinion, since we're platoon lining it, that we just move in hard and fast. So I don't hmm. think the UAV would really give us much utility. Yeah, okay. It will, it will plus, let us know uh, where the pick is on the if it's hiding behind a fence or something. So that is true. we will then be able to get idea of where they're in place. So before we actually show our Vic, we know we're not like hop like jumping into a trap with like a toes. Gotcha. Yeah. So, we should use it. It's information we need. Yeah. So I would suggest with strategic that we have the drone and a fire mission and we'll use the vehicles the for fire support and um Oh, is it smoke? Yeah, the smoke would be more beneficial. We should use a smoke and a UAV, and then on tactical side, the MBT and 120mm. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. In my opinion. Does that sound good, Ethel? Yeah, that sounds good. I have an insane sound bug. I can hear Bartok and Chicken and Frost as if they're right next to me in local. You want to the, 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 rejoin the server? I think that's the only choice I have right now. Okay. You guys can, uh, yeah, no, I'll do the yeah, platoon we'll brief. Yeah, we'll keep discussing. Then I'll, I'll pretty simple plan. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll do the platoon brief. Alright. It's briefed in. Hey, Cyclone. How long did you say we have after this? So, have... that was Aethel just giving, like, a like, breakdown with his squad leaders, leaders and now platoon. we're going to get the actual yeah, platoon yeah. brief to everybody. Okay, yeah, I just got to let my dogs out. Oh, Let's put you in like you're one of the yeah, members. We have the, the one smoke, think we have the Scottish translated. Uh, come back in yet. No, for tactical, we have MBT map, right? and 120 millimeter mortar. For strategic, yes. we have the smoke and one times UAV. What type of smoke? 120? The, there's only one smoke for us. There's only smoke for us. Okay, cool. Alright, guys. Great job, round one. This was exactly there goes what I wanted to supplies. do. Yep. Here's the plane. Um, Last time someone stood underneath it, it broke. So, the, the main idea was that we would draw them in and defeat them in detail. And it's exactly what happened. They trickled in in several places and they got destroyed and we retook Sokolov. We even called in a, a heavy mortar barrage on our own point and that destroyed some of them. That was brilliant. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to basically capitalize on that victory and we're going to throw everything into a push we have one mbt two bmp2ms two btrs one bdrm and we're going to do a platoon push from the northeast side onto Kropi on uh, the machine gun marker and uh, the basic idea is that we're going to have silence on the southern part of the push providing southern security keeping uh, his eyes peeled on the Hotel 10 uh, East Mowgli location. And I have Cyclone in the center and Lone Darts uh, in the north. All of those infantry squads have at least one armored asset, the DRDM for Silent, and um, BTRs for Cyclone and Lone Darts. And Oddball is going to be taking care and watching out with the heavy guns, which is the 2 BMPMs and the MBT. The infantry moves out first. Gets eyes on Kropi and the hill south. Once we have this uh, setup and secure vehicle setup, also we have a watch and we push into the platoon. 
Any questions? Are we expecting them to have any heavy armor assets? Uh, we know they have them as part of their division and company. We don't know if they brought them. Thank you, Cup. Expect anything. Okay, alright. As long as we can mount. Our simple as any op. If they don't see you radioed in for. Maybe we can yeah. ambush them. If they know where you're at, then fire away. So simple rules. Okay. Yeah, right now in the offensive, no need to be shot. If you see him, shoot them. So there we go. We got the platoon brief from Aethel. And they're going to be pushing be all of their assets PZ, PZ from the east onto crappie. And vehicle-wise, I know they're going to have a BDRM, two BTRs, I think a BMP, and the tank? Yeah, and they're going to be bringing out a tank. Let's fly back over and take another look at their defensive structures. And here we are live with round two. Russian might thunders forward, the uh, Robo Pelican says. Except for that's the wrong spelling of might. Yeah. Are we sticking to the road if, uh, as we move to uh, X field location? I shouldn't Probably speak because I don't know how to spell. You know how many times I have to look up uh, campaign? Well, at least you look it up. I just open up policy. Google yeah. and uh, yeah. the <laughs> talk into the mic the and go campaign. And then I get the definition read out to me. So, you're doing better than me. Man, that is, that is a lot of razor wire and sandbags. Yeah. Please don't flip your vehicles. And I see what one of the. Uh, no rush. Well, the, one of the tow MRAP or the tow MRAP pushing up forward. Yeah. Hiding in, in the trees, hoping they catch someone off guard coming across the road, maybe? Coming through the power lines? I didn't even realize they had some of these U.S. forces pushed up this far. Yeah, they just pushed out on the, li on the live call. And that tow BTR is looking general direction of where the Russians want to disembark. And start their line and platoon push. Did you just call it tow BTR? Did I? All right, yeah, that's it. Wrap. That's it. <laughs> taking a, after this, I'm taking a nap. I'll, I'll be there with you. Well, Robert's. not not yeah. there. there. <laughs> you can get, get there. We start pushing in. You have complete freedom to try to wrap around on the northwest side of the We'll change your name to Snuggle Man Time. Oh. 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 Same goes for you, Cyclone. If you see the opportunity to wrap around, that that goes for you too. I heard. I'm probably gonna lean to that, so I'll probably shift north if uh, launch shift to the northwest. Yeah, just make sure you don't bump into Londor. Basically, coordinate to Londor and wrap around if you can. All the vehicles, all of them. Loud. It is definitely a thunder. I don't know what I'm staring at here, but um, this is some interesting driving for this uh, tow MRAP. I think the first time I've ever seen a driver hang out the door. Nah, I pulled out now. Oh, I thought it was... I thought I was going to see it, too. Oh, he's back in. Well, now he's sitting in it properly, but before it was just kind of hanging out the side of it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Just like a little graphical glitch. Oh, yeah. Russian oh. forces might... Are they going to push down that northern road there? I... I think they might start their line, or I should say, well, yeah, a line there, and then they're uh, going to spread out south.
following the wrong camera too. I gotta keep remembering mine's yellow, not blue. Yeah. Oh, yep. It's really not an easy thing, especially when they start uh, getting all the dead We're people just in here for admin the camp. Oh, you mean the the white blur, the white out spot <laughs> where we're trying to see what's going on? The gnat swarm. Yep. Stay wherever you feel is safe in this general area. Don't be offended, but if you die in this op, you are forever known as a gnat. Yeah, even worse than a blueberry. Mm. I don't know. I kind of like blueberries. Oh wait, we're talking about the people. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, reminder they will have call in, so we can't be But yes, still blueberries still are delicious. Blueberries and raspberries. Yep, hurts up. What about wild Especially the vehicles Not really. Maybe they're not gonna maybe they're just gonna start pushing down south from here i thought they were gonna line up on the east and then start pushing like kind of a little bit west of uh the russian defense staging zone but i guess they're gonna start from here and move in a south west column line well i'm looking at a couple of the russian forces it looks like they're gonna split up Looks like squad three and four are going to be pushing down south to the Vehicles. U.S. defensive staging zone. Correct. Well, at least in that direction. Yeah, the infantry is probably is going to push ahead of the vehicles. Will the vehicles be inserting themselves along the infantry line at some point? Yeah, at some point, yes. Once we're uh, sure there is someone... a, like a no tools with Overwatch south of us, and if there are. The Weird glitching like going out. on. Apparently, a mo AP mine exploded, but didn't explode. Huh. If that makes sense. All right. I want the infantry platoon to be set before we start moving out. So call out when you're yeah, in position. I'm still getting set up. Roger. Copy. Speaking of that, I guess I can. Uh, Float around and see if they have followed legal procedures with those AP mines. While we wait for everyone to get in position. Eh, that looks legal. I think this the toe M is gonna be the first person who makes contact. The Russians are Moving straight towards it. Hopefully, Sergeant Jackson. Okay, so give me about one more minute. I'm still getting. It's at least that. some type of uh, good shot first. Might see a vehicle. Might see infantry one before command. the vehicles, though. Go ahead, one. As in infantry is uh, pushing. Going to probably be pushing the forward of the vehicles. We're taking up that the space uh, pretty much all the way that's down to be the, interesting. Uh, the road in Julia to 417. Yep, that's perfect. Uh, do you reckon you want to go through the Lota or somewhere north of that? Uh, I'm wondering it? whether or not Sergeant Jackson is going to actually spot anything uh, no, before the, no, no, the uh, infantry gets too it's close be, yeah, to we'll, him. We'll, we'll figure out that when we reach the point. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking myself is maybe yeah, the infantry is going to spot him first and then one of the vehicles is going to be able to, to see on the map though, how take him out or I mean he is in an the open top so they might just get shot out yeah definitely that's why we start wide and uh, the, the arrow will actually but they'll hear the vehicles yeah, before they see the anybody the anyways we're hoping yes I am my southernmost guys well, at least I'm hoping because I'm the one following the uh the US side okay. you should be hoping for the the Russians to win right. this. I like the spread I, like I hope for both sides it doesn't work that way not unless we have uh, 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 uh sorry apart from the armor we're gonna try to get off. eyes on the health first I'm just trying to be yeah, PC bro I'm three is ready <laughs> we're moving forward yeah.
It's like seeing a good op. A lot of good, a lot of good uh, hits on armor, good kills, good strategy. And a bar talk killing people with the lat from 600 meters. Oh, yeah. What? In two minutes or I right still now. call forcation uh, man again for sure, people can. who do that. I'm sure I'd expect the contact. Someone... I think we should a lot of practice on the range. Contact by the... Yeah. So... Are we still in the idea that he just goes yeah, out to the range and spawns in a I bunch of uh, uh, warthogs we'll on himself and sees if he can shoot them down? The Probably. He just eyeballs it. The drone According to him. Dang, good eyeballing. It makes it sound yep. so easy. The radius will be the radius you can see with it. You can't really look up with it. Eagles are cool. Russian forces get even closer to Sergeant Jackson here in the end. The Matt V. Yeah, squad Pulling three. Out. I kind of have to put the two in line Audio because for of, uh, possible terrain, vehicle but we're going to reestablish it on the pond. We see an M we see an MRAP. Oh, MRAP's called out. Silent call. We're the grid. We're, we are held right now in the south. We're... Well, that doesn't surprise me. Silent and Silas have great eyes. I don't know if it was Silent who called it or if it was Dash B and Silent's just relaying it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Dash B is the closest one. Yeah, Silent was way too him? far back to be able to uh, see him. Dash B, on the other hand, was had a good position to be is looking down. Actually, well. it was Thin Bones. Thin Bones what? is right here. Yeah, Thin Bones is here with his binox telling Silent where it is. 50 meters in front of me. 50 meters in front of me. And Juliet's 6, 7, oh, 8, it looks like South. Sergeant Jackson We're knows they're over there, too. He's looking them. No, we have the Looking them down with the toe. Right, Rob. Who's the Who's the ladder hat? Yeah, uh, lat is Dash B. Something this way. Ooh, Dash B is in a good position though. Well, I can't say that because he's got to thread it between a bush. It's a toe, toe MRAP. And Sergeant Jackson is bugging out. India six nine. Something spooked him. Yeah, an infantry squad. Doesn't know if they have lats or hats. I'm looking to do Psycho, make sure you start moving, and uh, if the case your infantry can pincer them from the east and north. U.S. forces calling for an incoming oh, copy. We were just reacting to that MRAP contact. We're going to continue west. 679 falls down on squad three of the Russian forces. Calling in mortars? No, no, just, just calling in position. Okay. And I'm looking on the map now. I didn't notice how many mines they actually put down. Oh my. Yeah, there's, wow. there's a lot. And they covered pretty much every direction. So they're not no, no, one-sided like, like the, the Russians in, in, in round one. Do so, Definitely spread them around. They've the also team. got uh, anti-tank <laughs> mines also placed down. I've lost him. He's very close to me, though. Those mines are real close together. Just be where, where full, oh, where yeah. Okay, you have going out? You know, I just realized that is a horrible placement for these these uh, AP mines. They've got them in the field. Oh, hopefully, for their sake, that the Russians push through the field. Nathal just called up his UAV. I mean, the downside to what they've done is the Russians are going to be able to see the barbed wire. They're not going to be stupid and try and push that barbed wire. At least I hope they're not going to be stupid and trying to push the barbed wire. Yeah, hopefully. If we can spot the UAV up in the air, I don't see it yet. But we'll kind of get a UAV of what the... Russian forces have lined up defense wise. Oh, I see the UAV. It is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah, almost directly above you. Oh, little guy. 
I can the camera so of you. Drone, correct? You can. You can zoom it in. So I say it's so tiny, but WAC. that probably in real life scale is probably pretty big. Command, I see oh, enemy yeah. uh, fortifications on the north side of the village are facing north. Sandbags, etc. Eyeballs calling out sandbags on the north side of the point. I'm on the UAV, I'm just trying to get the eyes on everything. Alright. So I am alone down here. Can we like we link up? Or and it's what? a spy and uh, okay, Dukin over here laughing about possibly like dying in a the right now. glorious fight. Not so sure what they're laughing is. about though. I think something got said there over their uh, squad comms. Um, inside Krupi. I believe one. I can't get excellent eyes on it, but I believe one Ooh, is a Mark 19. Russian forces it's on still the north pushing side. up that tree line. The other. That's silent. He's the he's other wondering if anyone else is gonna Mark come up with him, or he's gonna be alone for a little there bit. There is extensive, extensive uh, sandbags to the southeast of South Kobe. I feel like the Russian forces are using silent as a probing asset. force. There's a lot of infantry moving around. Oh yeah. Do not here. envy him. Okay. Ethel's coming over the comms, giving them the report from his UAV flyover. Talking about all the defensive structures, laying them out in cardinal directions. There is infantry in the well, you should be able to see the uh, Matt V, one of the uh, Matt V toes just parked here next to the uh, power line basin. I haven't heard him call that one out unless I missed it. To southwest three. Oh, no, no, infantry in the defense. Oh. And of course, now he calls out the MRAP. What do you want us to do? You want us linking up? You want us calling back, linking up with you? I was about to say, that was a little odd if he doesn't call that out. Right now, yes, he's got an entire squad of uh, US forces around him, though, MRAP. on that so, berm. Uh, yep. The terrain reference is the power line. The power line east of uh, the second one. East well, did the US pull out two of the MRAP toes or just one? Literally next to it. Should have two so MRAP off. toes and one Mark 9. Okay. That's what I thought. We're trying to find see, a good I think spot the Mark 19 is still in the kind of town. I don't it. know where the other one is. Hang on. Copy. On Kropi, there are some small sandbags and placements uh, on the west side, but they're way less extensive. I'm going to look for toes oh, now. I think there is, I two, think. Static sitting toe. right here. No, what? Okay, yeah. Okay. So they got one toe in town and the Copy. Mark 19 sitting All off right, to the fun. side. Okay. I think the there Russians are pushing a little bit further in. Just south of it. Heavy Chicken and Young Savage taking a Let me focus taking on a knee at this focus. outcropping of well, this Copy. island of trees in the middle of a field. Sergeant Jackson calling uh, out one of the SLs Come north of one. them. Go ahead. Yeah, I think that was probably Revy. Looking to get into Croppy so I can get yeah, that. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Let me look. But look. he just uh, Revy just gave it away, and it Sergeant Jackson is bugging out once more the with the end wrap. If he would have, uh, if he would have stayed there, they're gonna get a BTR on the down slope of that tree line. Run Almost pushed up. Well, they're not completely out of the zone yet. No coffee. They still should still have with... eyes, but they're going to be looking through yeah, trees, but they are the not looking that direction yeah, anymore, so. That's a opportunity missed. Just a little bit. Here's some rounds going out from the U.S. side towards the Russians. Four is engaging contacts. We're yeah. also taking suppressive fire. Copy, I'm going to try to get eyes on what's engaging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going, keep going. Ooh, this is a bad angle. Uh, Russians have got about 41 minutes left. That's why you guys should just go to the island and you'll have cover from the south. Hey, chicken. I love you. I'm not, I'm not saying... Yep, there is still infantry spread around the Delta Bay, but I don't know if these are the ones you're getting engaged by. I'm going to try to get further eyes. So you were kind of tilted, like, do you want me to untilt? 
I mean, right here April, is kind of Let me know when you want me to get on the roof yeah. here in Zalata. I'll be able to call in uh, oh, okay. strikes on the uh, northwest oh, okay. part of town and the northern part of the uh, southeast part of town. Do so now I think those rounds, oh, so the suppressing fire is coming from five. Silas and Evan. On the trench line, got to five. And yes, it is. That might be what's engaging you. They're looking straight at you for, I think. And we've got call outs. Hotel 552. What is in that position? Squad 4 and Squad 3. Well, be in peace to match the I think movement. they're trying to call out the, the uh, vehicle that's in that one. zone. Uh, but yeah, that would be closest the, to Squad 4. Uh, Golf 7, uh, five, nine. No, I'm taking that back. It's more or less the uh, squad three in that vehicle. Four, long, if it was exactly five, is hotel that the, uh, five, five, five no, it's still three, he said? Uh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yep. Back up. Uh, yeah, see, that should be the this vehicle. This terrible spot, because I can't tell. Like, All right, go, go, go no, it's fine, it's fine. Go right, go right a little bit. Go, come in from like a harder angle. All right, now straight, 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 straight. No, 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 no. Okay, hold, hold, hold. No, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. ETR is going to try to return some rounds towards Silas and Evan. Kind of a monk we'll maintain SN. position. We need to get moving. Looks like those rounds are order. pretty close. Come in, I'll return that target for oh, you. got it? Yep. Pepper and right over top of Evan and Silas's yeah, heads. Yeah, they're not going to move. Yeah. Until a I think we AP might have to circle to the shot. northwest. Just oh, it's a good. Well, yeah, right it's now. a good thing that they're in that defilade. Want to bring it back all the way to the east. Oh yeah, and then we got uh, Garrett up here opening up on them. Oh, ooh, heard that. Is that one of the tow MRAPs? I'll call it in if you can make it happen. ETR is on fire. Break, break, break. I'm not sure if that was. It's back on the it might have or been. Or I'm ETR wondering if that was Sergeant hit. Jackson. Let's see if he's like saying in front anything. Of the hill, but still hit it. And it looks like Ronan he's got the repairs way. down just in time to keep it from blowing yeah, up. One for command. Maybe. Still hear the fire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sergeant Jackson was the one who got that shot off on that BTR. What do you want done, Dad? Smoke. If we have a smoke mission. It's our only smoke. We're ready to push in. Got mortar rounds coming in also. Yeah. I'm getting some press from the Oh no. Sandbags. Oh, and I'm losing frames. Same here. But we're going to watch. All the sandbags are coming down. It's Golf 7 6 9. Remember, if you're going to build defenses, use Hesco walls. I don't think they could. I think they only got like sandbags, most. Yeah, yeah, well, Hesco's cost more than sandbags. Yes, we're trying to look. Yeah, but they have less chance of popping up when you hit them with a mortar. True. I validated the smoke barrage. We need to do this. I think the infantry is almost in position. It's going to be coming right south of the crossroads, Golf 6 to 9. Five, you have five, infantry. Five. Sounds like some uh, lamp or la AP mines just self detonated here on the northwest. Oh, your armor, according to the Might be That's good, weird. good luck for Storm and Tinkerbell. We got a large US Was force in front of them. Hit one time. Copy. Yeah, and they're not letting up either. It's moving straight south, Elmo. Nope, negative. Moving east, east. He's trying to re-engage you east. UAV's still up. Lethal's giving out commands and of uh, eyes, but the bad MRAP's east, uh, position. Smoke is going down. Lethal's going to call in some smokes. Also, let's try and use this smoke to uh, get in good position. Or something. Roger's saying he's pleased with the level of destruction and less destruction of FPS. 
Uh, heard a A-10 come come in. Did it hit anything? I don't think it did, but we also got more smoke coming in, too. Yeah, that, that was a call on from Aethel. Heavy assets being damaged. Yeah, this that's a large. We're not gonna make it. Yeah, that's Dispersion. a wide Copy. smoke drop. Use it, John. Use it. Um, the last and we've got the one of the BTRs. Is that the BTR? I can't yep. tell from this distance. Yeah, that's pushing Fulcrum. right up. Four, we're pushing in hard right now. We're trying to get. He needs to be careful though. There's some anti-tank mines on that road. Getting the rest of my guys' favorite. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna try and bomb rush us now. Be advised, infantry. You have a Mat V uh, with a Mark 19, a Golf 773 inside North Cork. BTR has also been called out. That should be your top priority to push in. Arbor, if you want to send in the uh, BMP 2M, the BMP 2M should, should be fine. Yeah. There's uh, yeah. not any tank mines. Thanks, guys. Make sure you have the BTRs covering your flank. Yeah, the BTR is giving up some good suppression for the infantry to push across. I didn't see you move. Yeah, the infantry's got to be aware of the uh, land, the AP mines there between. The the oh. Firing H. And they're SL moving straight towards them. Three. Oh, this is going to hurt. Right. A few degrees. Like, Ooh, something went off. Might be the tank shooting off. I think it's across the road. Down goes the dash beat. Yeah, next one over across the road. Hill. Hill. Command side one repeat. Silent getting yeah, really the close to some AP mines. And we just lost one of the BTRs. Daniel makes it out just in time. Toad took that out. shots to go a few degrees to the right so we can start shooting at their uh, emplacements. And I hear the tank firing off in a distance. I don't know what it's shooting at. Understood. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, U.S. forces over here on the north or northwest part of the compound have lost comms. Evans and we gotta track section. BMP. Call out for the track BMP. Oh, there it goes. It's down. I think that gets was out. Sergeant Jackson got him. One BMP destroyed by tow. It came from the southeast to the point. We're trying to get eyes Russian the forces have definitely made a great push onto the okay. the yep. uh, U.S. Off. line. Still have to make it through the AP mines that are there. Well, not really a lot there, actually. Four air was previously right there 30 seconds ago. We got him. We got him. And Blackbeard gets a lat hit on the BTR out here on the west. What I can tell you right now is you are bypassing the defenses. Most of the defenses are looking south, southeast. Take note of the Four is going to make a move to the east. Four is making a move to the east. Try to get some pressure out. How does Lawn Darts not see Black? Oh, the smoke's covering Blackbeard. Be careful. Saw a Oh, Blackbeard, Como, Kodo, the Londar, they're all just walking right oh, past each Fulcrum. other. Oh, is, is Blackbeard going to get a shot off on this? Oh, he's a hat. Yes, he is. But I think the, I think Fulcrum's too close. Oh, oh. and then he gets taken down and so does, uh, Kodo. Fulcrum gets away lucky on that one. Contacts north, contacts north, contacts north. Mortar being called making. in from the U.S. side. Not sure where. We're trying to help you, we're trying to help you. Looks like some of the uh, U.S. forces have come in behind the Russians out here on the northeast. Try to help you further north of you, you said. 
Uh, yep, direct uh, north of us across the road. Copy. And Alpha Guido up there Watch even further guys. to the north northeast. Coming in behind somebody. I don't know if they got a vehicle up there or not. They're egressing north. Uh, silent egressing north. They're moving towards you, command. Oh yeah, Alpha. He's got command in his sight and a and one of the BMPs. One GL. Oh, that's not good. One GL. What distance? One GL. Twenty meters. Three hundred meters. Two hats. Or a hat and a lat. GLs are being lobbed over the buildings north of you, Cyclone. Call if they're on target. Very much on target. Double hit. Good. Double hit. And down Actually, goes door. command. Ooh. And it lost the BMP. Oh, the BMP. I lost the BMP. That is not Where's good like for the Russians. Well, the U.S. forces are going to be focusing on the west-northwestern direction because the Russians are in town. definitely and shooting towards the, the uh, command the door. Not going to be able to get him, though, because he's sitting in the middle of a staircase in a house. We're sitting at nine kills for the Russians, 17 for the U.S. Yeah, they got hit by strike, I think. One is I'm going to place my bets and chips down. The U.S. is going to be able to hold this point. Understood with him with the tank to so far, it's going pretty good for them. There's the U.S. mortars. And, and no one to look hit. Like it. Yeah. A little late. Uh, Headbuster takes one down, but then Imonas flicks on to him. Mona's a little too close to those mortars. And Oddball's moving the tank into play. He's still got a hat and a lat near him. I don't know if they have any rounds to hit it out. Please give me grids if you see it. Oddball goes down. He's in the tank. Looks like Liberal Pundit, Tinkerbell, and Storm over here are being held by Wayne Newton. In comes one of the BTRs. Ooh. Running straight for Dorf in one of our, uh, in Matt B. Popping some smoke. Ooh, down goes the BTR. Yep, BTR down. Down all the smoke. We're salting the town. I wonder if that's a bug. I think all they got left is uh is the tank. Or no, and the BDRM. Londart's pushing in. Matt V doesn't even see him. This might not Enemy be good for Dorf. I don't know why they haven't been called out by higher command. Oh, down goes the mat. Just saw no, that. Thank you. Taken down by Bartok. Mark Knighting's down in town. One is half strength. We lost our BTR. We have a minimal foothold. All right. That's three Russians normal. right next to the U.S. Know, command. The Mark 19 is down. The building I'm on doesn't really look too well to the southeast. There's no windows. Hova's sitting here. Might Just be able to catch lawn there. darts. Sandbags 165. Here, the BDRM pushing up as well. Scout car. Bartok, do you need a reload? Uh, I... Lost McGruff's. Missing the opportunity to push in on Dorf. I don't think they realize he's in that building. Uh, they Hobus know Hovis is now. Yeah, they know Hovis is there, but they don't know Dorf is there. Dorf is just sitting on a staircase right now, not moving. Shug's looking. 
on the outside. Coming up. Oh, nope. Thought he was going to come up behind Londars, but he's going to go in with Dorf. That might have been a negative thing. You've got Tanks Nightmare. down. Oh, Ooh. gets the tank. Oh, and here comes Shug. Take some shots at Lawn Darts. Right, the only oh, vehicle no, they got Sugar. left. Oh. oh, he's gonna wrap him. Well, it's not that. He's got Nightmare behind him. We in flank on the south. Oh, and it didn't do it anyways. And grenade gets castings. Yeah, scout car is all they have left on the Russian side for any type of armor. Hovis. Yeah, Let's Not realizing Let's he's literally got a wall between him and an enemy. If you oh yeah, him and lawn darts. You want to use that smokes to cross Honestly, I'm sure Hovis can actually see him through that wall. Oh, he should. Yeah. I would be. Yeah, I would be pinning right now. Oh, he saw him. Or he did. He's looking. All right, let that develop for a second, then we'll go. Dorf thinking they're going to play C4 down to, to kill them both. Hovis. Runs out to get the kill on lawn darts and gets Bartok in the cross. They're in the second floor of the shooting. White House. Second floor of the White this House. One right here. Uh -oh. oh. Yeah, they called out Dorf. Dorf is down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Got him. No, no, wait. I am incorrect. Oh, no, he is up. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see him back in his corner. Yeah, no, I saw a body that's got an outline on it. I forget that's... That was, oh, uh, Suga. Still trying to hit Dorf. Dorf's taking up his shelter in the staircase once more. Yeah, they think he's still upstairs. I think Thin Bones is going to try to push in. Shit, I hit myself a little bit. Ooh, overshot for that smoke. Right, we're storming this building right here. I think he was aiming for the doorway. Yeah, we're gonna let that kill. Did you throw smoke? And Thin Bones is coming in, waiting for the smoke to develop. Dorf gets Thin Bones, Black GoPro pulls back. Black GoPro well gonna no. Uh, Black GoPro is gonna try to look for Dorf through the windows. He might have had it if he looked through the second window. Yeah, but then he's got Hovis on on his rear. Hovis still doesn't have a view. Hovis is blind right now. It's only down to three Russians. Black GoPro, your nightmare, and Stafford Stan in the BDRM. Black so got GoPro about, has Yeah, he's taking he's initiative. taking it. Yep. Got about 21 minutes left. It doesn't matter even if they take down the US command, they still got to clear out the rest of the US forces on the point. Yeah, and there's a lot. They've lost what? five six people on this one house so far uh roughly yeah and toe takes down the bdrm that is all the russian vehicles
U.S. did a fantastic job of defending this. Oh, uh, you're a nightmare in uh, Fisco. Right on the other side of sandbags from each other. Oh, yeah, I see them. Black GoPro probably going to give away your nightmare. Uh, kills right now, U.S. is at 36, while the Russians are at 21. Why can't I aim? Ooh, that I was hit some with a pistol. Oh, oh, no. Just as he was saying he couldn't aim down Five the sights. Five noon. Down to black GoPro. He really likes that GL. Tried using that indoors. Oh, oh. and Dorf catches him. And I think that's it. Oh, yep. that's it. That's GG round two and uh, campaign spring break part four. Four. hope you all enjoyed it i'm thankful that you all came out to watch this on a uh sunday afternoon with us